What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. Pride Month, as you all know, is in full swing. Once a month, we let the queers out of the closet, and they do... Well, I don't know, they only have the parades on the good side of town, so I never see them. Of course, you also got the corporations changing their logos to the rainbow flag. Well, if they still use the rainbow flag, that is. Last I checked, it was a mishmash of random colors that just made the thing look damn ugly. Honestly, I don't get why the pride flag needs so many damn colors anyways. I think it only needs one color, which is whatever the gayest one is. But it's like I said, you've got all these corporations changing their logos to the rainbow flag to support the gays and they're spinning a big fuss about how much they love the community. How sincere these corporations actually are, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that the FaZe Clan got in on it. Happy Pride Month! Sending love to our LGBTQ plus friends, family, and community. So, okay, it's another corporation, I don't know, esports team, trying to get some good publicity. Nothing too big to talk about. But then, a member of FaZe Clan, FaZe Virus, a Muslim who lives in Saudi Arabia, had this to say. Just to clarify that I don't support or any kind of LGBTQ or anything similar even if quote unquote phase does. I am a Muslim. Well, <laughs> suffice to say this didn't go over well because, well, everyone's all proud this and proud that. Heaven forbid you have someone who says, yeah, I don't really want to be associated with all that because of my own beliefs. After some backlash, the tweet was deleted. But as we all know, a popular YouTuber deleting a controversial tweet does jack criminy because now everyone's spurred on by it. Before we read some of the responses to this tweet, I think I'd like to give my opinion on it. It ain't that bad. I'm sure you could interpret his tweet as him saying that he opposes the existence of homosexuality and the like, but I think he's just saying that he doesn't align himself with those types of views. Maybe he doesn't necessarily oppose them, and he doesn't want no harm to come to anyone who aligns with that community, but he also doesn't want to be mixed in with that kind of crowd. A fair position to take, considering the guy lives in Saudi Arabia. I don't know much about that country, but I know it's not exactly friendly to, you know, these types of people. The guy could face social or, worst case, legal repercussions for this stuff, so I don't blame him for making his personal opinions clear. And if previous situations are anything to go by, this should not be an issue. I made a video back in 2021 about a CEO of a video game company who voiced his support for the pro-life movement down in Texas, and a lot of people cut ties with him and distanced themselves from him because they didn't want to be associated with his views. Many looked upon these actions favorably, and while I didn't exactly make it clear in the video, I don't see a problem with employees distancing themselves from someone who arguably represents their company, and by extension, them. Don't get me wrong, I don't think the guy deserved what came to him, but I can understand the response. So, so what we have here is a similar thing. You have an entity, right, voicing support for something that arguably reflects on their employees. Some don't agree with this message and want to make it a point to distance themselves from it. If you don't see a problem with what happened in one scenario, there is no reason why the same outlook can't be applied here. Now, let's get into the reactions. Keemstar made a tweet about it, asking people for their thoughts. A lot of people say that Virus should have kept his thoughts to himself, like in this altercation between Doc on the radio and Aiden. Doc says, Perfectly fine take. Aiden responds, Are you serious, lol? Yes. I don't support Christianity, but I don't wait till Easter to tweet out, Hey, as an atheist, I don't support Christians. This dude waited until Proud Month to give an opinion he could have easily kept to himself. It's just a dick move. And the thing is, Aiden might be right in that regard, if that was, you know, the full story. The thing is, Virus didn't come out and just say that he didn't support the LGBTQ community out of the blue. He was saying this in response to a company that could very well represent him and his brand. At that point, he has every right and reason to make his stances clear. From my point of view, he's just clarifying his religious beliefs, not being a dick. Please show me who asked him to clarify his religious beliefs, not one person asked. And this is just dumb reasoning. I mean, who asked for anyone's opinion? No one asked me to make this video. Does that make me a hoo for making it? This is the sort of dumb take that I really only expect Aiden to make. Okay, I don't understand how him saying I'm Muslim so I don't support LGBTQ is hurting anyone or even being disrespectful. So you'd keep the same attitude if I did the same stuff with Christians during Easter? 
Yeah, lol, I don't give a damn if you crap all over Christians, which, to be honest, I don't really know if Aiden was expecting him to say otherwise. Like, I don't know if he thought that would make him reevaluate and say, oh, wow, I wouldn't like that. You're right, Aiden. Like, I don't know. Did he really think that was a gotcha? So, yeah, again, it really just brings me back to the point I made earlier. A company represents its employees. When they make tweets like this, that reflects on them. If someone does not want to be represented by these messages, they should have every right to distance themselves from it. And again, he did this in a very tasteful way. He simply said that he doesn't support the community and left it at that. If you think that's going too far, that's on you, buddy. 100%. Someone says, drop him at FaZe Clan. Goes on, doesn't have to get dropped. What, are you kidding me? You make a tweet calling for him to get fired and then immediately backtrack on it. But it's supposedly his opinions and beliefs and the tweet was deleted and he hides comments regarding it. Okay, so what exactly do you want done here? Do you want him to be brainwashed into changing his opinion or something? Like, I don't get it. You make this call to action, backtrack, and we're just left with this tweet that's not really saying much of anything. Rebzion makes a pretty interesting series of tweets. Get rid of him, which, alright, dumb tweet, but pretty mild. Going after someone's career because of opinions that they themselves hold is, you know, real classy. It gets worse though, in a retweet to a Dexerto article, they say, We love team values. In case folks don't know, the Quran condemns folks being gay. Please tell us how you really feel, Phase Virus. They still execute gays in certain parts of the world. And, God, what a horrible thing to say. Like, you know what's saying, please tell us how you really feel, phase virus, following up immediately with, they still execute gays in certain parts of the world. Like, you know what that implies, right? You are directly implicating that virus's true thoughts on the matter is that he thinks gays should be executed. Like, I hope this is a misinterpretation on my part. I'm willing to say that maybe I'm not looking at this correctly, but I don't know how you look at someone saying, I don't agree with that, and think he wants a certain demographic to be killed. This is unhinged. Definitely not a take I'd expect from the guy. Yeah, there's more where that came from, but overall, a lot of people criticize this guy. And honestly, I'm not surprised that something like this is happening. I don't know, I remember when people wanted to promote tolerance and diversity back in the day. Wanted to platform more queers and Muslims, and it's like, that's obviously going to breed conflict. You know, these progressives that wanted these sorts of groups to uplift and support each other are now upset that it's not happening. And it's like, yeah, what did you expect? All I can really say is, it's interesting to see how divided people are, you know? Because you have the progressives saying they love the queers, and you got progressives saying that they love the Muslims, but now there's a crossroads. At the very least, I, I don't see him losing his position at phase because of this. Honestly, I hope he don't. I don't get the people who say that he should though, like when you're calling for someone to be fired simply because he don't see eye to eye with you, like do you really think that makes you the good guys? Well, that's all I've got for the matter, but I don't think I'm done talking about Pride Month just yet. I got tons of stories that I'm gonna talk about, by the time Pride Month is over, you'd think my channel's a Pride Parade itself. Brace yourself folks, it's gonna be an interesting month for content, I can tell you that much. That's all I've got for this shtick. You guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.